uh, please note that the film path is very important. So we'll show you the film path through each and every turn. From the roll, we take it through the static remover, and then, then it goes through the rubber rolls. From the rubber roll, it sags down, and then it climbs back up into the table. Uh, this is for the lower unwinder. Now, if you carefully see over here, what we have is that the roll uh, makes a small S over here so that there's enough tension and then the uh, path continues on to the ceiling uh, area. Over here, please note that the roll goes below the steel rod and then goes into the ceiling area. The ceiling area uh, is kept in tension uh, through both the steel rolls, steel rods, which is why it's, it's important to keep maintain the S. After that, the roll, uh, the film is taken up into these uh, adjusting bars, and then it is brought back down for cutting. Please note that the film is taken down over here and into these uh, rubber rolls. Main, main rubber rolls. Main rubber rolls. Uh, if you can see it carefully, uh, the two rubber rolls over there, and the film goes between them. And then they come out through here, through another beneath another stack bar, and after the blade onto the conveyor. For the upper unwinder, note that the film goes from the roll beneath the static remover and then into the rubber rolls at the top. After they go into the rubber rolls at the top, you'll see that the roll, uh, the film sags down and the film is then taken back into the um, cutting machine area through these steel rods. Now from here, uh, they are uh, taken beneath this rod because the sealer needs good tension so we will create an S over here and uh, through these static rods you can maintain the tension. After that the film is taken back up into this adjusting rod. The adjusting rod uh, can be used to adjust the uh, point of sealing yeah. and cutting. Now the film goes back down and is combined with the film from the bottom. And as you can see, they go through the rubber rolls. Underneath, uh, there's a steel rod. And then after that, the cutter as well as the static removers are there. And then it comes down to the conveyor.